Welcome to Xar template tutorial number 5. In this tutorial we'll be going over the text tool and we'll be covering how to change the font face and applying different attributes. We'll go over the spell tool, we'll go over the dictionary tool, and we'll also go over how to change the font size and stuff like that. We'll go over web safe fonts, creating text areas, and text columns. I know that's not everything that the text tool can do, but for the sake of simplicity in this tutorial, we'll only be covering those areas. In the later tutorial, we'll be covering some more advanced features of the text tool. Uh, unfortunately, we won't cover it now because there's some trade-offs that you may encounter when applying certain operations with the text tool. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. And once you do that, go ahead and select the text tool we're going to just left click anywhere in the document once you select that tool and you'll see there's a red flashing cursor and that's where your text is going to start so let's go ahead and type a sentence doesn't matter what it is I'm going to write this is a Xara web designer tutorial period then I'm going to write it again this is a Xara web designer You'll notice that it doesn't do a line break when we get to the end of the page. Which is why if you left click anywhere in your document, I recommend you only do that for small titles. So for example, if we were just using this is an Xara web designer tutorial, that may be fine because it doesn't run off the page. And, and if there's a scenario where you do want to write it this way, you could always hit the enter key and it will take you to the next line. And you can start typing again hit the enter key just like a regular word processor but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna left click and delete drag over these this text here and delete that by hitting backspace or the delete key and just keep this one sentence here and actually I'm gonna actually get rid of that so you can select your selection tool to select that you just left click in your toolbar here or you can there's a few other ways you can select it too but simplest way is to select your selection tool and then hit delete and we're going to select the text tool again this time we're going to left click in the workspace and drag it out like it's a text box and this creates a text area and now let's type that same sentence or whatever you like to type and I'll write this is a Xara web designer tutorial and you'll notice that it does a line break Unfortunately, I, I turned some options on that's going to kind of distort my text. So give me one moment. I'm going to go ahead and remove those properties. But you should have something that looks more like this. And you can ignore what I just pressed because I, I used the bullet points earlier. So it kind of had my text distorted. But you'll see now that if I keep typing that sentence, this is a Xara web designer tutorial it pushes the text to the next line it automatically creates a line break so by the way the width of this text area will determine where your line breaks will be so if I expand it by left clicking on one of these red nodes I'll have less line breaks if I press it in you get more line breaks it automatically goes to the next line In this case I've got one two three four line breaks if I stretch it out by left clicking on the node and dragging out I only have two line breaks so this is great when you're typing paragraphs because you can determine where your text will be within this text area within your document. Now, now there's some other stuff that we can do too. I'm going to show you how to change the font face. So let's say that we want to change the word designer or whatever word you choose. Just left click in that twice. So left click once, twice and it'll select just the word designer. Then let's go to your font menu up here in your info bar left click that and you'll notice that when we hover our cursor over these different fonts and by the way these first set of fonts are your web safe fonts and that means that they will most likely show up properly when you publish it to the internet on anybody's computer just about but as I'm moving my cursor I'm not left clicking I'm just dragging my mouse up and down over these fonts you'll see that the fonts are changing in real time in the uh, text area and that's for any font it, just, it doesn't have to be just your website fonts 
you can do that for any of the fonts just roll over it and it, ch it shows the real time change now it's actually not changed until you select it which in this case I just accidentally selected it but yeah if you if you're rolling your cursor over it, it's not changing it until you actually make the selection like in this case you see I have it over Arial black how it looks now if I move my cursor off of that left click anywhere in a document it changes back to what the original font was so if I chose Ario it looks like everything else in the document double click on it to highlight the whole text designer two clicks left click and if you go back to the font menu and I let's say I hover over uh, let's see what fonts I got in here we'll just choose something that looks different see how it looks on the, the screen well it's not going to be that way because I'm not going to select it it's going to go back to whatever it originally was which is the same as this document here so always remember when you're, when you're changing the font you have to left click it in your font menu up here in the info bar for it to actually take place so if I want it to be Arial Black I have to actually left click it and then it stays changed but let's say that I want to change not just one word I want to change the whole line this whole line here well I'll triple click with my left mouse I'll go one two three and it selects that whole line after three left clicks then you go up to your your font menu in the info bar and you select what text you want let's say I want to do impact so another set of bold text it changes that whole line unfortunately there's some text that came back up because of the width of the box but normally this wouldn't be here but yeah you'll see that this whole line is changed in, in respect to what was selected and let's say that uh, I want to change the size of all the fonts the, I mean this this whole uh, text area I want to change the size of every font well you would left click and drag over it all the text or you would hit control A and you would change the font size to whatever size you want up here in the info bar and as you roll over it it will show the different sizes but it won't actually make the change until you left click if I move my cursor off and left click it stays the same size but if I left click drag it down to let's say 32 point font and left click it stays the new size for the fonts but let's say that you don't want to have any of these changes you want everything reverted back to the normal way you had it before well it's quite simple highlight this whole text area or hit control A on your keyboard and well since we have a bold uh, font in here we'll hit the bold key in your info bar this it gave me a little prompt because I have some fonts in there that it doesn't apply to you can ignore that hit the left click on that bold again and it remove, should remove all the bold effects in this case impact is naturally bold so you can't get rid of that but any other text that you know was bold it got rid of it so like for example if I made the word web bold and I highlighted all this and I hit bold ignore the effect left click bold again it gets rid of the bold for the web now just to show you what I mean I'm gonna change this font since it doesn't have a a bold option we'll make it this font side type and we'll make this one that same font type now let's see what happens this time. I'm going to make designer bold and I'm going to make this designer bold. So you can see that it actually changes it. So this is bold. If we select this whole thing and we hit the bold, everything becomes bold and then we hit bold again. That removes all of the effects. So there's now no bold in the text area. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how to uh, do a spell check next. So for Xar, let's say I spell Xar wrong by putting an extra A. You know how you get these dotted red lines saying that you spelled it wrong? Well, if you right click on it, you'll see that you get a context menu and it gives you some options. The proper way to spell Xar is with a 1A. So you'll select the first option and it'll correct it. And the reason that you see those dotted red lines that you just saw is because I have spell check on. And if you don't have that enabled, and you spell the word wrong and it doesn't show the error go to your your info bar up here and you're gonna select ABC option and make sure this first option where it says check spelling as you type is check and has a check mark next to it 
and that'll turn it on all right and let's see is there anything else I'm leaving out we went over the text area went over the the column area we went over how to modify the the font type in terms of the bold or italics oh no we didn't do italics let's highlight this text again we can apply italics so left click on italics and everything becomes italics or if we wanted to do underline highlight all the text or hit control a hit underline and it'll underline all that text now let's say that we wanted to justify well let's get rid of the underline first so left click on the underline and what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, we're going to justify the text so right now it's left, it's left justified and we're going to increase the width of this text area highlight all the text or hit control A and it's on left justified in its natural state but we're going to center it so left click that on your toolbar I mean on your info bar and you'll notice everything is centered within your text area or let's say you want to write justify it so select the right justify in your info bar up here everything is justified to the right or we can do a full justify which will try to keep everything equal based on the width of this text area so we bring it in further it'll adjust it No, sometimes it looks kind of funky but it's doing its best to retain the distance equally left to right within this text area let's say you want to uh, increase the line height for let's first let's reset this to left justify so reset that to left justify and then go ahead and increase the line height in your info bar and that's this first thing up here where it says line spacing when you hover over it and we can increase the line spacing by hitting the up arrow or decrease it by hitting the down arrow now I want to show you something else let's make this text area smaller by left clicking the the red node at the bottom here and dragging up you'll notice that that text is kind of grayed out and you have like a red arrow pointing down that's because of text overflow that means that you have to increase the height of your box so that will be displayed correctly and you won't run into that problem when you're doing just a text column the text column if we were to draw a left line a line from left to right like that and we were just to type some text it just goes to the next line it automatically breaks it you'll never have that issue so whenever you left click and drag to the right and create a text column always remember you won't have an issue of having text overflow but if you're doing a text area like this and you happen to type a certain amount of information where it eventually will have text overflow and you'll need to increase the height of your text area all right well I believe I've covered a good majority of the options there are a few other things you can do let's say that you wanted to create a superscript or subscript let's just left click anywhere in the document and write a number and then after you write one number let's click the superscript in your info bar and write another number and it'll say 8 to the 5 so you can use it for for math problems if you need to write something that's related to math or computer code it's very useful or if you highlight that 5 by you know left clicking and dragging over it you can hit subscript and it will lower the 5 to the bottom and I believe that is just about everything that we're going to cover in this particular tutorial uh, we covered a few additional things I believe but beyond what I planned but overall I believe this should help you um, in terms of using Xar Web Designer there are some other things that like I said that you can do but we're not going to cover in this particular tutorial uh, but actually you know I will cover one other thing there we can let's highlight one of these text boxes or whichever one you want highlight the whole thing and you can add a bullet list if you want so left click on bullet list and actually I'm not going to use that one let's use the text area because it's easier to demonstrate if you highlight the text area and left click on the bullet point it'll add uh, bullet points to to the to that particular paragraph and in this case it added one here 
and one here. So you can add bullet points by highlighting the text area or you can change it to numbers by selecting the number numbers in the info bar. And these last two options up here is just the indent or outdent items. So if I wanted to say I wanted to indent number two here I would just hit indent and it would push it inward if I wanted to outdent press outdent alright well that's all I'm gonna cover in this particular tutorial if you do have any questions feel free to send me a message on YouTube hopefully I wasn't too gibberish in the video and you're able to understand how uh, these different tools work and how to use the font font tool within Xar Web Designer. Uh, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to our videos and also make sure they check our website out at XARTemplate.com. Thanks again for viewing our YouTube video and uh, feel free to definitely share it with others and embed it on other websites. Have a wonderful day.